So in this video, we're going to introduce a new concept known as bond polarity. And this is a really important concept because it help, it's going to lead us into understanding if molecules are polar. And uh, the polarity of molecules is what dictates whether they're able to easily associate in liquids or whether they won't associate and stay as gases, right? So it helps us understand how strongly molecules can interact with each other. So bond polarity boils down to a difference in electronegativity, right? So remember this term electronegativity? So it boils down to a difference in electronegativity between two atoms in a covalent bond. So if we think about a covalent bond as, right, atom X and atom Y. If we can assign electronegativity to each of these two atoms and the difference is um, greater than 0 0.4, then we call this bond polar. And what this means is that one of the atoms is able to pull electrons towards it enough that it has a partial negative charge, right? It's not, a, it's not an actual negative charge, but the idea is within our, within our bond here, right? Remember, our bond is shared electrons. So if one of these atoms is more electronegative, then these electrons within the shared bond get pulled a little bit towards one atom, the more electronegative atom. And that creates a partial charge on, this, on that atom. So atom Y in this case would be partially negative. This little delta symbol, so that means partial negative. And X, because the electrons have been pulled away from it, is now partially positive, right? So this now kind of becomes a magnet in a way. One side has a small charge, the other side has the opposite charge, okay? So that's the idea behind bond polarity, is if one atom is more electronegative, it creates a covalent bond where the electrons are situated a little bit more towards one atom than the other, okay? And the other way we show this, we can show it as an arrow with the positive end on the partial positive side and the arrow pointing towards the partial negative. This would tell us that this side of the, the bond is partially negative, this side of the bond is partially positive. Okay, so then we can extend this rule then to say if something has an electronegativity of 0 0.4 or below, it's nonpolar. And that means the electrons are shared equally, so there's no polarity to this bond. So we do not have a partial positive or a partial negative situation. Okay, so let's go ahead and look at the periodic table and think about some different bonds and figure out if they're polar or not. So let's start pretty easy. So any atom that is covalently bonded to itself, like oxygen in molecular oxygen, right? So oxygen has an electronegative of 3.5. So each of these oxygens have an electronegativity value of 3.5, meaning the difference is zero. So there's no way for an atom bonded to its the same type of atom to, uh, to be polar because the atoms definitely have the same electronegativity. Okay, let's think about, a, let's say a CO bond, so a carbon-oxygen bond. So if you see a carbon-oxygen bond in a molecule, carbon has an electronegativity of 2.5, we see that here. Oxygen was 3.5, so the difference here is one, and one is greater than 0.4, so this bond is polar. We can show it with an arrow pointing towards the negative end. So this would be a polar bond within a molecule. Let's try one more. Let's do a CH bond. Okay, we just said that carbon is 2.5. Hydrogen up here is 2.1, giving us a difference of 0 0.4. And 0 0.4 is our cutoff. This is our break. But anything that has a difference in electronegativity of 0 0.4, we consider nonpolar. So this is a nonpolar bond. So bond polarity really is that simple. It's looking at the two atoms considering their electronegativity values uh, and comparing the magnitudes. If the difference is greater than 0.4, the bond's polar. If the difference is 0.4 or below, the bond is nonpolar.